It's day 189 2016 and today we got new technology from Samsung and Facebook. Google might be making Nexus branded Android Wear watches. This and more in Phone Arena Daily. Let's begin. As we had expected earlier, the company behind the Freedom 251 smartphone ringing bells has announced a TV. It's a 31.5 inch HD TV and it's going to cost you 9,990 rupees. That's all they have revealed. Uh, the TV is coming out on the 15th of August and they've announced along with it a number of feature phones, a number of smartphones and also power banks. You can view the complete list of the phones and their prices in the description below. There is a link to the story there and you can click that and get all the information. To give you a sneak peek, all of the devices that were launched by the Ringing Bells company cost more than the Freedom 251 of course and not much is known about the Freedom 251 either so there is not much of an update there we'll let you know what happens Samsung already replaced eMMC storage on its smartphones to UFS which is universal flash storage it's much faster and Samsung claims that you can reach about 534 Mbps of speeds compared to the 95 Mbps speeds of the fastest SD storage. So micro SD cards are going to be replaced by these, which look like micro SD cards, but are definitely much different. The pins are different and they require specialized slots. So you cannot use them in micro SD slots. Hopefully there will be devices that support this format and storage. Uh, in the coming days and months because this is much faster and this will just proliferate the adoption of 4k which requires a lot of bitrate so let's hope this advances faster according to new reports from android police it seems like google is working on making its own android wear smartwatches which is an interesting development because google has restrained itself from doing so until now if the reports are true now both these Android Wear smartwatches. There are two and they are called Angelfish and Swordfish which falls in line with the Marlin and Sailfish branding of Nexus devices that are coming. So these two smartwatches apparently are going to be a bit different. The Angelfish is a bigger one with three buttons and the Swordfish is seemingly a smaller one with a crown like instrument at the side which means that Android Wear's interaction methods might begin to change which is good and android wear has been lacking for so long in hardware it's probably time for google to take the baton and lead the way all the giant corporations talk about connecting the next billion they believe that still a billion people are off the grid which is true so all of the companies are working towards projects which uh, connect the next billion so for example google's project loon their fiber networks facebook's free basics was part of it but obviously it failed and now they have taken a different approach this is called open cellular it's just a box that will help network infrastructure get deployed in remote areas so that they can connect more people so this box which can be powered by any source like from solar to any kind of power it can be connected to the grid or it can be connected off the grid it can be its own network box or it can connect to the networks and extend it from 2g to lte any network will work so that's the main idea here facebook wants to connect a lot of people but due to facebook's past actions the intentions of this are not really clear will facebook be offering free internet over these boxes or something like that uh, not clear so i want to put this as a point of discussion do you think Facebook's open cellular technology is going to help proliferate the amount of network penetration into the remote areas or is it going to be a bandwagon that Facebook is going to jump on when it's deployed? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and that's about it for today's show. Thanks for watching and do check out the deal of the day in the description below. We'll catch you later with more technology news.